Good morning, class. In the previous lesson, we have learned about absorption by roots. Today, we are going to learn about very important terms. And we are going to learn about absorption of water by plants. And that is affected by three processes, imbibition, diffusion, and osmosis. Now, today we are going to learn about them and understand the different processes. First one is imbibition. Imbibition is a tendency of a cell to observe water present near its surrounding. To understand the process, we can try and experiment at home and understand what is an imbibition. Take a dry gram seed in a container. Put water to the container containing gram seed. Gram seeds absorbs the water present in the surrounding. It swells. Another example would be wooden door swells when it comes in contact with water. Next now, next process that we are going to learn is diffusion. For this, let us understand through a simple experiment that can be tried at home. Take a glass containing water. Put a few, put few drops of blue ink in glass of water or black ink. After a few seconds, we will find the water has turned to blue solution because the concentration of ink is higher than that of water that is why it has turned water blue so what is diffusion then it is the movement of molecules that is ink dye from the region of higher concentration to the region of lower concentration that is water Next process is osmosis. Osmo means water. For this also, an experiment can be demonstrated at home. Soak raisins in a bowl of water for one hour. Raisins swells as water is more outside. Water starts moving from higher concentration that is outside to the raisins inside the walls of the raisins, which is acting as semi permeable membrane. So, what is osmosis? Is a passage of molecules from a region of higher to the region of lower concentration or to a region of lower to higher concentration of water through semi permeable membrane. Now osmosis are of two types. First one is endoosmosis. Endo inward osmo means push. The inward push and exosmosis that is outward push so the first one is endosmosis inward diffusion of water through semi permeable membrane when the surrounding solution is less concentrated this tends to swell up the cell that is the inward results in swelling of the cells and exosmosis 
as the outward diffusion of water through a semi-permeable membrane. When the solution is more concentrated, this tends to cause shrinkage of cell. So in case of exosmesis, there is shrinkage of cell. Now, let us understand an experiment to demonstrate osmosis using thistle funnel. Requirements, glass, beaker, thistle funnel, a sheet of cellophane thread, water, sucrose or sugar solution. This is the thistle funnel. You have the beaker over here and you have a semi permeable membrane. First process is thistle funnel is fitted with sucrose solution and its mouth is tied with parchment paper or cellophane paper. Thistle funnel is kept inverted in a glass beaker that contains water. The initial level of sucrose is noted down. After some time, the sucrose solution rises in the stem of the funnel. That indicates that osmosis has occurred. Observation the level of water in thistle funnel has increased. Initial level was this and the level has gone up. The results of the experiment, the movement of water through the cellophane seat or the parchment membrane through the thistle funnel can be seen. Water moves from the region of higher concentration to the region of lower concentration. The movement water occurs through a semi-permeable membrane. The force due to which the solution in the tube increases is due to osmotic pressure. We are going to learn about this in the next class. And very important, stability of water level in the funnel shows that water concentration in both the beakers as well as the funnel is the same and so stop, osmosis stop. So children, today's assignment define the following terms, imibition, diffusion and osmosis. Give two types of name the two types of osmosis and explain the types. Given below is a diagram of an apparatus setup to study a very important physiological process. Named process being studied. Explain the process. What change would you observe in the thistle funnel? containing sugar solution after 10 minutes. Is sugar solution hyper or hypotonic or hypotonic? Then the part of the plant cell which is represented by sugar solution. Explain why much salt is added to pickles. So class this is all we will be learning for today.